Zero FXB. Okay, so we've got access mode working with the ICOM 705. So the first thing you do is get the ICOM 705 into terminal mode. Then you set up the Pi Start. Now look at my previous videos, I'll quickly show you the settings. So the main thing to notice is the radio modem has to be ICOM radio in terminal mode, D star repeater only. And you do have to modify uh, you, using SSH your Pi Star um, to do this. And there's a previous video for this, which I will link. So you can see the, the Pi Zero 2 is here and there's a USB cable going with the black one there from the data port to the side of the ICOM ID, uh, ICOM 705. And then the white cable here is just powering it and it boots. And when you've got this, you've still got these, the uh, SD card in there with the, the usual Pi Star image. Same one that you would normally use for a jumbo hotspot. It's the last one from the bottom. So initially you would put the radio into terminal mode. So you just go menu, DV gateway, now go into normal mode first, go menu, DV gateway, go to gateway select and, and select external gateway. When you've done that, go back and then it's terminal mode. So you've got it in terminal mode and then you want to make sure that you've connected. When you are connected, it will look like this. Right, once you've done that and you know you're connected, go back and put it into terminal mode like so. DV gateway, go normal first, then go menu, DV gateway and then go down to access point and go, so yeah, I meant access point mode. Select access point mode. Okay, and now in your handheld, you need to just set the same frequency that you've got on the radio here, but you do need to be in DR mode and you need to have a zero shift. When you're in normal mode, you do need to select the same frequency that you've got in the HT that you've got on the 705 and you can do that before you go into terminal mode set the frequency and I've set my hotspot frequency here and I've, I have given it a zero shift as well So now what happens now is you can now walk around with your handheld and you can Talk use the handheld so not the rate not the 705 It could be the, the 52 and you can give a call out like so and when you key M0 FXB, M0 FXB, just testing my audio, M0 FXB. And then everything you receive will be from the handheld. I'm not sure if anyone's going to come back. That's just my announcement. M0 FXP for an audio check. M0 FXP for an audio check. Yeah, you're getting out quite a fine, uh, clear and audible. I'm not sure if we can actually hear that on the 705, just out of interest. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Sorry for the double. So, yeah, you do need to turn the volume down on the 705. Oh, yeah, I'm coming over anyway. I'm just using it. Uh, ID Sounding really good to me, M0 FXB. Yeah, Mike 3, November, 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 in the, in the South London. Yeah, thanks Andy. How are you getting on with that 52 then? I bet you're enjoying that. Back to you, it's Andreas. Uh, just, just going steady on it, uh, bits and pieces, uh, just, just learning how to navigate around it. You can see the 705's in TX. I've got to put in the, um, what's it, the uh, GPS coordinates, uh, but I, I should get around so to it. So there's our little the raspberry Yeah, well, it's working well. Yeah, lots to play with in that radio. And yeah, you soon set up the GPS so you can see it on screen. When you go into men menu, look for single display, and then that that's where you can change, so it shows it on the screen. And yeah, just look go in the GPS menu for your settings. Um, and I'm sure you're getting a, a good lock on that as well. And have you tried the scope out? Back to you. Yeah, I've got it. 
Right, we'll end it there. Just go into the main set menu and then there's a whole section there just for GPS. But um, if you're getting a lock, you know the little GPS at the top of the screen, is that flashing? 7-3, all the best. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.